An update now to a story we brought you two weeks ago when the city and county began urging families to stay home. Domestic violence experts told me abuse numbers would spike and they were right. Today, SAPD released numbers showing a 21% increase in family violence calls from 2019 to 2020 year to date. Officers now tell me it's more important than ever for people to realize victim services are still active, including a crucial one for school children. It's part of my series on domestic violence, loving and fear. SAPD making a direct connection between the current stress of COVID-19 and spiking family violence numbers. There's no more school. There's no child care or limited child care because employees are being furloughed. And it will just continue to add to the immense amount of financial stress and burden that was already there. And add on top of that communication uh, maybe not being at its optimal communications issues that could be softened by SAPD's positive parenting program or triple P. It gives parents simple strategies to help manage their child's behavior, build strong, healthy relationships and prevent problems from developing. SAPD officer Alicia Pruneda has responded to some of the recent calls for violence or family disturbances. Yesterday I was on scene at a, a shooting in progress and it involved four minors. She wants to remind the public that in cases like this, SAPD PD's handle with care program is still in place. Police notify school districts when children are involved in traumatic situations so the teachers and administrators know to take extra care of that student. Social workers, counselors, and the appropriate uh, staff and administration are informed. They may not be interacting with the child in person, but this is happening. Abuse experts know when survivors are confined to the house, it's harder for them to reach out for help. We can't do anything about it unless they call unless someone calls and sometimes that takes a great act of bravery. If survivors find a way to safely make that call, help will be waiting for them. Officer Pruneda also points out that a lot of services are now online, including filing a protective order. You still have to go in and sign the affidavit, but everything else can be handled from a phone or a computer. For people without internet access, you're urged to call SAPD's non-emergency number or family violence prevention services so someone can lead you through that process. Those numbers, along with a long list of resources, can be found at ksat.com slash domestic violence.